Hey guys, it's time to combine my new EcoWorthy battery bank with the old EG4. Right, so I've had the EcoWorthy running my whole system for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and it has performed perfectly. Now you wouldn't even know the difference between the two. So it works great, check that box. Uh, so now to combine these two, we need them at the same voltage and the same state of charge. Uh, being at the same voltage isn't really enough. It could be, you know, different charges, but I just top balanced this uh, EG4 about three days ago. It's had some time to settle, so there's about 54.1 volts on the bus bars. This guy I just finished top balancing, so it hasn't settled down yet. It's still at 58 volts, so it'll, it's slowly settling right now. But I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to this uh, power station here and drain a little bit of that off so we can speed up the process. When I get them the same, I'm going to shut everything down and rewire my system so these will be in parallel. And then we'll turn them on and see what happens. I went ahead and cleaned this up a little bit, put all the covers on. I got a positive lead up here at the top of the 200 amp fuse. Got my negative lead at the bottom. I moved the other set of leads over here. Positive 200 amp fuse on the positive bus bar. Negative over on the negative bus bar. So I'm not going to turn on the system just yet. We're going to keep it simple at first here. I'm just going to turn on one battery on this side and one on this side and kind of prove out how all that is going to work. We'll look for too much current to flow. And we'll see how that goes. And then if it works, we'll turn on the rest of them. So I'm going to start with this guy. That doesn't turn him on exactly. And also with this guy. And I got that off. All right, so if I turn this on, let's see what happens. So that's on and that's on. And let's look at the current flow. Well, it's only 0 0.8 amps, 0 0.6 amps. I can live with that. 0.4, all right. It's looking good. Let's turn the rest of these on. Okay, turn the rest of these on. Okay, and then we'll go one at a time here. Got any current flow? Not much. Let's get a couple of these on. One amp, less than an amp. Let's get the rest of them. Boom. All right, what have we got? Half an amp. Let's turn on my app. All right, All right guys, they've been on for a couple of minutes and the current is almost zero going between the two banks. So they were really good balance. That's good. Uh, so I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna shut them all off and do the regular startup procedure. That's gonna be a little complicated though, isn't it? I'll have to think about that. These batteries are on, but all the breakers are off. So there's no voltage on that bus at all. All of these are off. So I'm gonna do my regular start procedure. I open both breakers for the two inverters. So I need those open. And then I'm gonna switch on these first three batteries. <clears throat> I'm going to do these two at the same time, and then this guy, and hopefully, uh oh, oh, yeah, that's okay, and then we're going to switch on the charge controllers, so far so good, guys, and we'll do the other three over here. still happy good 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 okay now this bank's still off this guy is booted up that looks all good and then we should be able to go and turn these on and we'll check the current boom any current no that's good 
current. No current, that's really good. All right, there's only half, half an amp going from one bank to the other or into the system. All right, guys, I'm gonna check this out and I'll be right, back. So far, so good. Everybody's happy. I checked all the cells and everything's looking good. So the next step is to turn on the inverters. There we go. Let's see what that did to us. Switch on the output. <clears throat> Let's get our transfer switch on and switch some stuff over. All right, I put a couple things. I got 27 amps coming out. They're all discharging, so that's good. Everybody over here is discharging. So everybody's involved. All right, it's been about half an hour and things are getting a little better. I plugged in the car so I could pull some current off of here. I got about 100 amps coming off of these two batteries and the split is about 50-50 now. So that's good. I think this one was just charged up a little more. It's a little stronger, maybe. But the voltages seem to be the same from this bank to this bank. This one was slightly higher. But so far, so right, good. Guys, it's the next morning. Uh, we got about 1500 watts coming off the solar. Charging the car, we got 97 amps going out of the battery bank. Let's take a look. We're at 67% and 52.34 over here. And we're here at 57% and 52.38. So the voltages are wanting to stay the same. The it thinks it's at a much lower percentage and it probably is. Um, the, the big problem I'm seeing is that I'm not getting equal draw across these two wires here. Now, it is right now, 50-50. You see we've got 50 amps, 49. So right now they're balanced, but they're not always balanced. There's a pretty big imbalance sometimes. I don't like that. So what's going on here, guys? What do you think? Yesterday, we, I discharged it down to about 50-60%, then uh, charged it up all the way to 100, held it there for a while, and then I drained it and charged it again a couple of times, so I tried to cycle it. Um, and that was okay, but I still haven't got it in good shape. So then overnight I discharged it, and now it's 8.30 in the morning and got it all the way down to 52.3 volts. Now that's the same all around with all the cells. The EcoWorthy thinks it's at 47%, so these guys haven't really figured out where they're at yet and the um, EG4 thinks it's at 58 so you know we're somewhere in there. Alright so around 5 o'clock I got both banks all the way back up to 100 percent all the voltages are topped off yeah, even the Magnum system sees it as 100 percent and that's good we're gonna hold it here for a little bit but when the Sun goes down it's 530 now uh, when the Sun goes down I'm gonna throw everything I can at the system because I want to bring both banks down to close to zero. So basically I want to go from the top all the way to the bottom and all the way back up to the top again tomorrow. We'll try and charge it all the way up after that. So we're, I'm trying to round trip it so that it can better figure out its state of charge and hopefully just get both banks more in sync. All right, so we'll be back. All right, so I ended up having one hit zero on the EG4 bank. It was reading four and then it just dropped to zero. Uh, most of them were at 5%. The Eco bank was at 5%. The bus voltage was 46.2. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. So I think we did pretty good. Uh, I restarted that one so it's okay. Um, took the loads down so we're charging now. And I'm gonna go all the way back up to the top. All right guys, so to wrap it up here, I would say that, I mean, I'm really happy with both banks. The EG4s are great. They've been great for two and a half years. So far, the EcoWorthies seem to be doing just fine. Don't have any complaints. Um, it's been working. It's really nice having the 60 kilowatt hours. That changes the way I'm operating, so I gotta get used to that yet. What I don't like so far is um, just 
I had hoped that everything would be a little more balanced. Like for example, the current that gets pulled from this side versus this side, uh, a lot of times it's the same, which is great. But if I'm pulling 100 amps, it might take 80 over here and 20 over here, or the other way around. Let's see what we're doing now. 12 out of 56. I mean, that's not balanced. So, I don't know. I guess that's not really a problem, you know? And also, when, when we're looking at state of charge, now, keep in mind, the voltages on these buses are the same. They're always the same, okay? But for state of charge, you know, what they're reporting, let's say I started here on Wednesday night with uh, 100 on the Ecos, 100 on the EG4s, and then my Magnum system thinks it's 100, so great, right? Thursday morning, I'm at 58.72, and the Magnum's kind of taking an average. So why is the Eco reporting low? Anybody got any ideas on that? I mean, they're, you know, the same voltage. And then later in the day, it's 86.96. And then back in the morning, we're 58.69. So the EG4s are always reporting state of charge higher for some reason. So I'm going to keep running these. Um, so far, so good. I'll probably report back again in a couple of months and see how it's going. I guess my backup plan is if there are any problems and it doesn't shake out the way I want it to, I'll probably put my Magnum system on just the Ecoworthies and build out a new system like maybe the uh, grid boss 21 maybe one or two of those and use this bank to run that anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one